Hey guys, welcome back. So today is day seven of my 100 day makeup challenge and here's the look I came up with. I have really exotic eyes today. I went with that bold gold and white liner. We just have like a really nice neutral smoky eye going on. And of course I just wanted to keep the lips pretty nude as well. So nothing like a nude neutral glossy lip. You guys already know I have my S Care hair today. I just wanted to go full glam. So yeah, guys, I really hope you guys like this look. And if you wanna know how to get it, just keep on watching. Thanks, guys. So as you can see, we are really jumping in. So of course, I'm starting off with my brows. And for this, I'm using my NYX Micro Pencil and Brunette. So after I'm done filling in with the pencil, I like to go in with some brown powder. And I'm just going into my Morphe Matte Palette for that. And I'm basically focusing on the tail and then kind of feathering it towards the front of my brow to get that nice blended effect and just feel like it just gets it a lot more defined. And then of course we have to clean and carve that out with some concealer to really get that nice dramatic effect, just like a nice clean brow, we all know. And for that I am using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light and just a flat brush pencil. My apologies, flat brush, I meant flat brush. <laughs> Once that's carved out, I like to just conceal my whole eye and just use that as a base. It's just what it's been working for me. So after I have that spread out nicely, I just like to take a flesh tone powder and of course just set that all in place. Okay, so now let's start off with the transition color. So again, going into my Morphe 350 matte palette, I am just going to take a nice fluffy brush and blend that in taking that nice light brown and just defining the crease just a little bit more. So now with an even smaller brush, I'm going to be taking that beautiful brown color and I'm going to be placing that on my outer corner and just really blending that out. Once you have that blended out, we're going to take an even darker brown and again, just focusing on that outer third of our eye and really getting that blended out and really smoked out. Go back in with your original fluffy brush if you have to, to really blend out. I feel like my transition color got kind of lost, so with that nice light orange, I'm going to be hitting the upper crease, kind of just blending that out. Finally, now going into my Sonia Kashuk palette, I am taking the blackest black that I own and really, really hitting those outer corners and really smoking it out. Taking a pencil brush to apply my black, it's just really getting it black in that corner and blending out. Just to make sure that we do not have any harsh lines, I'm just taking an even more fluffy brush and just blending out. I am taking the whitest white in that Morphe 350 matte palette and just hitting the brow bone and taking it a little bit lower to really clean up and taking my blending brush and just blending everything together. All right, so now it's time to clean up. And for that, I am using a Q-tip with some baby oil. And as you see here, it gives us that nice, sharp, sharp line. And now I'm taking that same brow bone color and I'm just opening up my lids, um, taking it actually a little bit higher than my lids just because I have really small eyes and I just wanna kinda open them up and make them nice and bright. So that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> now with my fluffy brush, I'm just meshing all the colors together, just making sure everything blends nicely. So now I'm going in with the Jordana Gold Liner. I'm just going to be doing a wing liner. Now, as you see, I did go in with white. At this point, I did not know I was going to do that. So I would have went in with the white first, but you know what? Here we go. So gold liner on first. And now I am taking that white liner, which I just dipped my gold brush um, because the white liner comes with a felt tip and that just doesn't work for me. So after that white liner's on, we're gonna go back in with the gold liner and just clean up those lines. So I kind of just did double work here, but it's okay. So now we're gonna hit those top lashes with some CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara and just prepping those for lashes. So moving on to the face, I'm going to prime with that Nivea Men Sensitive Skin Balm. And yes, it's balm. <laughs> and just go ahead and rub that in until tacky. And then of course, I'm dotting on my L'Oreal True Match in Natural Buff, which is N3. 
Now go ahead and just blend out with whatever type of brush you like. For today, I'm just blending out with my Real Techniques brush. And this is just my first layer, so I'm just doing a very light layer. And now we're gonna go in with some concealer. For the concealer, I am using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light. To further blend my concealer, I'm using my Morphe B17 brush. Once I have that blended out, I'm going to be placing another layer of my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. So I want to first set my under eyes and with that I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And eventually I'm just going to use this whole powder on my face with a BH Cosmetics brush. So to bronze up the face, you guys already know in every video I basically do the same thing using my NYC Bronzer and Sunny with a nice angled fluffy brush. And then of course we have the nose contour as well. And for that I'm using another BH Cosmetics brush. Shocker. <laughs> now I just like to deepen my cheekbones. So for that I'm taking my Benefit Hula Bronzer and with a, another BH Cosmetics brush and just really carving out my cheekbones. While I have Hula out, I thought it would be a really good first color to go into for my lower lash line. So just taking a Morphe fluffy brush to place that color there. And then going into the Sonia Kashuk palette, I am taking an even darker brown and furthering, deepening that lower lash line. So now we're finally going into lashes and for that I'm using my Dodo lashes and this is in the style D105 and I've been wearing these so they're like molded perfectly to my eyes so as you guys can see they just pop on so easily and that is the finished eye look once you put on your mascara. So for highlight today, I'm going back into my Morphe 305 Shimmer Palette, and yes, I'm taking that latest, brightest color. Look how good of a highlight that is. I mean, that's just been what I've been wearing for, for the past few days. So go ahead and hit all your high points. So of course, the cheekbones, the nose, Cupid's bow, and honestly, the highlight is bomb. For lips today, of course, I wanted to keep it nude. So for that, I'm going for my go-to nude pencil. And to top that off, I'm using my Milani Bare Secret Lip Gloss. So after you have your gloss on, just hit that face with some setting spray. And I'm using my NYX Matte Setting Spray. And here's your completed look. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button if you're not subscribed please subscribe and can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye guys.